All right, all right, all right. What's up, everybody? Today, for you, I have... I'm going to switch it up a little bit. I'm going to show you some new books, and I'm going to throw out this new beer. So, we'll do a little bit of that. Uh, so, for today, what we have is... It's called a PB and Jaylee. PB and Jaylee. Uh, Peanutty up front with a Concord great finish. This is from Elk Brewing, Grand Rapids, Comstock Park, Michigan. Looks like we got a Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Figured I'd do something local and something that probably a lot of people are, are going to be like, oh, right on, homie, peanut butter and jelly. Let me get some of that. So, um, yeah, you know what? If it's, if it's bad, it's bad. Um, I don't think it could be any worse than I expect it to be. It could probably only go up. Um, so like drinking a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, if you can imagine. Oof. I can... I can smell the peanut butter from here. Oh, that's crazy. It is... Um, it's, it's pretty dark. <clears throat> and I guess probably based on it being peanut butter maybe in there I don't know uh, maybe that's why it's dark like that I didn't expect it to be that dark and it's, it's got a decent amount of head some lacing there and they're like yeah, it's a little clingy to the glass you know um, ooh, wow that's crazy that smells like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich that's I don't know if I want to drink this just yeah just smelling that that's that's crazy um, you know, on a scale of one to five, I'd give the smell of, I think I give that a five. I don't know. You know, it's, it doesn't smell like beer. It's crazy. Um, let's, let's see what we get here a little bit. Uh, oh, wow. That's, it's, um. It's hard to explain. It's kind of like creamy, but it's a little thin at the same time. It's weird. You get that peanut butter that hits you, and you wait a moment, and you start getting that jelly on the back of your tonsils almost. That's oh, that's weird. That is so strange. Uh, elk Brewing, PB and Jaylee. I get it. I get it. I'm getting the taste there. Uh, you know, I generally don't like beers like this. I've tried the blueberry ones, you know, all that kind of stuff. Uh, this was kind of like, oh, you know, let me give this a shot. It's sitting here. 5% alcohol. So, not, not real high ABV on this one. Um, I say you can get it year-round. And, uh, like I said, it's local. So give it a shot so, I don't know um, I guess I could drink one or two of these I, I couldn't be I couldn't be like hey bartender bring me another it, it's it's all right I could probably drink one or two So, I'll give that a thumbs up if you're into that kind of stuff. Uh, if you're not, just try it once, you know. Maybe, uh, like a dessert beer, maybe you could have it with something. Um, it truly does remind me of, like, these dessert wines are really thick and rich. Uh, <clears throat> it does have that, that peanut butter, I think, makes it taste a little thicker than what it's actually portraying itself. Cause it's not, it's not real thick. And that lacing dissipated pretty quick too. It's not heavy, as dark as it looks, it's not a heavy beer, so. Yeah, you can get down with one of these, you know. Um, give it a 3.75 out of five, I think. <clears throat> For what it is, uh, sure why not. So with that, let's get into what we picked up this week. 
what we're really all here for. First up, I picked up this Superior Spider-Man number one Halloween comic test. This was free uh, at the local comic shop. As was this Thor, Road to the Realms. Those are freebies. As always, you got the DC Nation mag. You gotta pick those up. If you don't get that, you know, look for it. You don't know what you're missing there. You get a lot of, you know, there's some letters from the editor. There's what's coming up. Um, what's going on with certain storylines? Kind of see ahead a little bit what you want to what you want to read. Um, some articles like this one's got what the editors do, you know, little things like that. But for free, a free little publication, it's, it's pretty cool. You kind of get an idea without having to go out and buy something necessarily all the time. What you're getting, it's pretty cool. That's free. And with that, again, these aren't. I didn't break these out again. Because I, I, I just got back, honestly. But um, Cold Spots, issue number three. This is an awesome supernatural story going on here. Um, I'm really liking that from Image Comics. I can't wait to get this one every time it comes out. Uh, it's kind of like Gideon Falls for me. As soon as I get it, i got to read it. So I'll be reading this up tonight first. Immortal Hulk number eight. Uh... It's not a spoiler, it's on the cover, so I'm, I'm, I'm anxious to see what happens with the Hulk here uh, from his last run-in. So, uh, Justice League, part two, Drowned Earth, <clears throat> cover A, and I'm assuming this is cover B. Cover B's cool, it's got that Jason Momoa look to it, again. Um, I'm not going to lie, I didn't read part one yet, and I'm having a tough time this Justice League stuff. I don't know if I'm going to keep reading it. You know, it's um, it seems kind of convoluted at times and difficult to keep up with what the heck's going on. There's so many different things happening. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll stick with it for a minute, but it's it's not... It's on my might-be-fired list, for sure. Uh, Farmhand, number five. Uh, love this book. This is another one I can't wait to read when it comes out. I really enjoy it. Through the mysteries of science and cinema, my beer duplicated. Whoa! Well, that was strange because I didn't shake that up at all. That's weird. Huh. Whoa. Lots of foam. I don't know. That's weird. I wonder if there's something going on with the carbonation in that can. That's really weird. Hmm. Well, let that, let that chill. That's weird. I'll have to see if any other cans do that. That was numero dos. So... Oh no, the first one didn't do that. Weird. Anyway, getting back to the books. Next up, Crowded. Issue number four. Uh, if you're not reading this, you're missing out. It's a cool story. This uh, this girl gets a hit put out on her. And she ends up having to hire the lowest rated person in this community to protect her. Uh, it's basically about crowdfunding hits on people. Uh, and she gets this just gigantic number put on her head. And you're trying to figure out what's going on with that. And you can tell that she's not quite upfront and honest about everything. So, wait to see how that plays out. That's, that's a good book. Let me set these aside. It's a good book. Uh, Volition number three. That's a cool cover. Uh, I'd love to say I'm reading this and I love it. I bought all three issues. I haven't read one yet. So, hopefully I'm going to get to that soon. Because I really do want to read it. For two reasons. One, I think it's a cool idea. Um, I like the art. And uh, two, if it sucks, I don't want to keep buying it. So uh, I'm going to do a review on this one at some point after I get a chance to read all three. This thing is, man, come on. Um, <clears throat> wrong Earth. So there's twos all over this book. And I thought, Oh, cool. Issue number two. We're looking all over for it because 
my local comic shop didn't carry it. Uh, it's issue number three. This character is number two. So I'm still missing issue number two. I got a tough time reading and jumping around stuff. So I, I really want to read this book. I loved issue number one. Uh, ugh, I got to find issue number two. I couldn't find it anywhere. It's Ahoy Comics, issue number two. If anyone's got one, let me know. United States versus Murder Inc. Bendis. Uh, Jinx World. Bendis. He's different. <laughs> I think of DC Bendis. <laughs> I actually like Jinx World Bendis. Where Bendis on Superman. Uh, not, not really sure about this cool story. Basically about a, a hit woman more or less. I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail on that. But um, Shatterstar number two. Uh, I picked the first one up. Just like, hey, let me check it out. Uh, it's a cool story. You know? Uh, it's like, you know, like two issues in, so. Little known character, but I think it's pretty good. Leviathan number three. Uh, I love this book. You know, basically there's this underworld uh, land that these, that there's dinosaurs in. And we go on and we just start blasting them because this leviathan came to the surface and we find out there's all kinds of chemical waste buried and all kinds of weird stuff going down there. Uh, so I'm, I'm kind of curious to see where it goes. It's, it's pretty brutal, um, but it's, it's a funny, cool story. The art's super cool. Uh, this cover was not my favorite, but it's what they had, so it's what I grabbed. Uh, this is another one. I want to get it. I want to read it. Like, let me get it. Ex-Wives number one. Uh, this is the variant cover I picked up, the regular cover last week. They didn't have this. They had it this week. So I think these might be going uh, a little bit higher and then book. I got this for, you know, book, $3.99. Uh, well, I get a little bit of a discount. but um, So I got to look it up. If it is, I might go back and grab some more of them. I just couldn't remember. I haven't read it yet. Don't know. Aaron Boys. Number two, uh, I love the first issue of this. I started reading it, and I was like, yeah, this sucks. And I got a little into it, and, you know, these these image books, as of late, like I said, they're more of a slow burn. you got to read a little way into them. Uh, and then the story starts opening up, and you start getting a little connection with the characters, and it gets a lot better. The art in this book, to me, is not great. Okay? Um, don't love the art, but the book, the story is interesting. I'll keep reading it. Uh, As Guardians of the Galaxy, number three. I've just been picking these up and reading them because, you know, I think the Angela character's going to have some feet. Uh, I've got her first appearance and I think it was Spawn. Uh, I forget what issue. I want to say nine, but I don't I don't know if that's right. Um, but uh, Marvel bought the character and all of a sudden it's Thor's sister now. And so I see this character going somewhere probably. I'll pick anything up with her in it. Faye Lavelle, I pick anything up with her in it. Um, so, last but not least, Road of the Dead. IDW. $4.99 IDW. This better be good. I haven't taken it out of the plastic. The, uh, the paper looks a little higher grade. The book feels heavier. You know, it feels a lot denser. So I think the pages are probably pretty good quality. Uh, but it's a story I wanted to check out. Um, been looking forward to this one. So IDW, don't let me down. All right. Uh, that's it for this week, folks. Like I said, PB and Jaylee, this finally came down. So we're going to You got to take a pretty nice swig of this too to get it to fully open up and you get that whole effect. If you sip it, it's not as good. If you just sip it, you don't get what you're looking for. You got to take a good good chug on it. You got to get a good rip, uh, and then it's all right. So again, that's um, Elk Brewing, Grand Rapids, Michigan, Comstock Park. Check them out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Elkbrewing.com. 
Um, I said 375, only because of what it is, you know. I might give it a four otherwise, but it's gonna it's gonna have a real select group of people that are gonna enjoy it. Um, your hardcore beer drinkers, where's my pants? Blue ribbon, my Budweiser. They're, they're not gonna want this. This is not for them. Okay, this is for everybody else. So it's it's fun. Don't take it too serious. 